What's up, guys? Uh, so, we've got a ton of Beyblade X news. Very hyped for for everything we're about to talk about. Um, but yeah, new issue of Koro Koro dropped today, which brought us a bunch of news. We also have some Hasbro stuff uh, as well. Uh, some of the exclusives we have some pictures of. So we're going to talk about everything. Uh, I'm very excited. The other thing uh, for Koro Koro is next month's release of Koro Koro, which is technically the July issue. So June, it because it releases a month ahead. So the June release, which is the July issue, is going to come with another blade pack-in. So like Phoenix Feather, except this time we are getting a drawn sword in the like aesthetic of Cobalt Drake. So it's painted blue, got that sort of cool clear red inlay. Um, again, Koro Koro exclusive. So the, the only way you're going to be able to get this is to order the physical magazine. So you'll be able to do that on like Amazon Japan or eBay or wherever you can find a physical copy of Koro Koro. Uh, it's the only way to get it. So if you want it, you have to order the magazine next month. Uh, I do think it looks really cool. I'll definitely be getting maybe a couple. I'm not sure. I don't use Drawn Sword a ton, but if I was going to use one, I think this would be the one to use just because it looks so cool. Uh, I'm interested to know everybody's thoughts on these. Obviously, Drawn Swords, you know, at this point, it's kind of an, an older release. It's like, you know, very early release. So interested they picked that one, but it kind of makes sense, right? Because, you know, Chrome and Common X are, you know, ex-teammates, buddies, or whatever. So it's kind of cool to see it in that, that paint scheme. Um, I do like to see more painted blades, so definitely hyped that we're getting more um, painted blades. Even though they, they chip and they scratch or whatever, I, I just like them. I like the aesthetic of them. It'll definitely make a cool display piece, so hyped about that. Interested to know everybody's thoughts on this. I think it looks cool. Uh, the other thing that I've been sort of expecting and very hyped about that we got... Basically, a splash page for is a Beyblade X Switch game is coming, I believe, the end of this year. Not sure who the developer or publisher is. I know Furu did uh, the 3DS games and a Switch game for Burst, so possible that they stay with the same same company, uh, which is fine. I think the um, I haven't played the Switch game for Burst, but I've played the 3DS games. I'm actually playing the God 3DS game at the moment, and the game's solid. It's like legitimately a good game. So, if they stick with the same, same publisher, I think it'll probably be pretty good. There's a couple things that I want from this. I would like to see, obviously, the X Tower. I want a 100-floor tower. I think that's such a cool concept for a video game. Uh, it would be really cool to go through each tower. Um, I would like to see some sort of exploration. Cause obviously, the Beyblade games are typically RPGs or action RPGs. Uh, there's usually some sort of customization or level up of the parts, or, uh, you know, fusing of parts and things like that, at least in the, the burst games. So uh, I would like to see some level of free roaming. They did it in the 3DS games where you could, between matches, like, you know, run around the different locations, talk to different characters, fight different people and stuff. I would like to see that 4X just because I want to explore that world more. It'd be cool to be able to actually run around the tower a little bit. Um, is it necessary? No, but I would like to see it. Uh, the other thing is PvP. Um, none of the burst games on Switch or 3DS had online PvP. It did have in-person PvP, but, you know, that, that doesn't really do me any favors. So... I would like to see online PvP, some sort of leaderboard would be cool. It would be nice to be able to battle like other people online. Uh, either way, I'm going to get the game, I'll play it on the channel, but it would be a cool way to interact with, with other fans or whatever that, that get the game. We could, you know, we could all fight together. They will have PvP in the, like the Japanese app, I, we know that's coming. We know that PvP will come to the uh, English app as well, but it would be cool to see PvP in a full console game, not something that we've had yet. So. Uh, I don't know, it looks looks pretty hype. The other thing that everybody's going to ask is, is there a Blade pack-in? The answer is yes. Is it Cobalt Drake? The answer is no, unfortunately. Actually, the Blade looks like the pack-in is the Hasbro Shinobi, which is basically like the Rhino Horn um, redesign or whatever. Looks like that's what it is. So, 
not that hyped for that, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it'll come with the game. I'll get it. We'll check it out. But I would have liked to have seen Cobalt instead. So interested to know everybody's thoughts on that. What are they going to... Like, ob surely we're going to get another Cobalt. So interested to know when that's coming. But as far as, like, the pack-in for the game, not that exciting. But I am very excited that we're getting a next game. Um, kind of expected it and very hyped for it. And then the last thing is the new Beyblade, the new Tiger Beyblade. This thing looks so cool. Uh, I feel like the design aesthetic just keeps jumping every release. Like, this thing looks sick. There's so much going on aesthetically. Uh, there's a lot of little... I don't know. It just, it just looks cool. The molding and everything looks very... I don't know, mechanical, aggressive. It looks sick. Uh, it might be light, just given sort of the shape of the blade and how many little air pockets there are and stuff. Might not weigh that much. Uh, hopefully it's not super light, because I really like it. So we're, uh, I'm going to end up in a situation like Leon Claw, where not only is Leon Claw light, and I have to work really hard to try to make work, I'm hoping the same thing doesn't happen with this one, because it looks so cool. Uh, I, I'm very hyped for this. Definitely going to get this one. Interested to know everybody's thoughts on the aesthetic of this one. Chip looks amazing. Um, we do get a new part in the bit, which is Unite. So Unite for Burst, which is basically a coat sharp for Metal Fight. Um, this basically looks like Taper Point. Um, so obviously point is a flat bit with a little point in the center. This basically just looks like a taper bit with a point in the center. I think the bit will be good. Um, I think it will probably be meta. Uh, it'll basically be point but with um, even better stamina, probably less defense, but uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Might replace taper on Leon Claw for me. That's been the main bit that I've been using for um, Leon Claw builds. We'll see. I think it's interesting. The next cat Beyblade basically comes with a bit that I'm, well, I would put on, on Leon Claw. So, uh, blade design looks very, very cool. Aesthetic looks amazing. Uh, as far as the ratchet, we get 360. So not super exciting. 360, obviously, really good ratchet. Um, definitely not new. Would have been cool to see 960, um, or something a, a little bit different. But I'm not going to complain just because I'd rather have 360 over 380 or 480. Um, so, you know, I'll take it. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, all the news, I think, looks very exciting this month. i um, interested to know everybody's thoughts. So make sure you hit up the comments. Let me know what you think of the Hasbro stuff. Let me know what you think of uh, the new Tiger Beyblade, the Switch game, the Koro Koro pack-in. A ton of information. It's going to be a crazy month. Next month's going to be insane because Hasbro stuff will be dropping. New releases will be dropping. There's just there's so much going on. Um, super hyped for it. But uh, yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, keep a lookout for the new Beyblade X chapter review. We'll be doing that today as well. But um, yeah, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.